Now, I, did, I, I knew pretty much what the speakers were going to be like this weekend. Mr. Goodlin was an unknown. He, he was the one wild card for this weekend. I didn't know what he was going to do, what he was going to say, whether he was going to be good or not good. But I, I could hardly sleep last night from, from his message. And, you know, and, and I left this. Could you have a seat here just for a minute? I just want had a couple of questions for you uh, because I couldn't leave what we uh, had uh, discussed yesterday, the important things that you told me about how we have decisions to be made based on Hansen's uh, important environmental studies. We've got decisions that have to be made in the next three or four years. Yeah. And, and you said, if I heard right, that there's only one card on the table. What I want to know, first of all, is, is it hopeless or can we do something if we all get organized, we all get focused, we get our friends and family, our businesses, everything. Is it worth it? Of course it's worth it. But can we do it? Do you think that, seriously, if the things that you recommended, we did, there is hope for my children and grandchildren? Yes, there is hope. No doubt about it, but it's going to take a huge effort, more effort than we've ever seen. It's going to be, it has to be something like uh, the Marshall Plan after World War II. It has to be a, an emergency plan on an unprecedented scale, and it has to start now, not in two or three years' time. That's hopeful, isn't it, that we, that we can make a difference? I know some of you are offended by this kind of discussion. Uh, I, I, I hope and pray that I'm wrong. I hope what uh, Robert Goodland has to say is incorrect, but what if he's right? And we can make a difference, and we look back and we said, we could have, but we didn't. We could have. I mean, you told us we could make yeah, a difference. Yeah. Uh, well, what's the chance of getting Bill Gates seriously involved in this? Yes, I think we should try, yeah. I think he's more than, he's off the fence. He's on our side. He needs encouragement, but you can give it to him. So there are people out there that can make a difference. You have friends, you have relatives. Yeah. Uh, Bill Gates is invited. <laughs> you know, anybody, yeah. Barack Obama, uh, anybody, Putin, anybody <laughs> is invited. <laughs> we are not discriminatory. <laughs> anybody is invited. Uh, uh, I, I know this is a, a huge leap to even think that any possibly could happen, but the stakes are so great. Yeah. And, uh, and as I said, I didn't rest well last night. Not oh, that sorry. your message was new. Yeah. It certainly wasn't new, but you said it so clearly. Oh, good. And I think many of the other people felt the same way I did, is if you believe, and there's every reason for you to believe, because if we're wrong, uh, it, the consequences are so serious. Uh, I, I wanted uh, Mr. Goodland to come out and, uh, and tell us that they, if we put the effort into it, we will make a difference. Yes, yes and we, we will. will. Yeah. But it, it, the beauty of it is, you as individuals are already part of the solution. You have become vegans. Now, the next step is to extrapolate your efforts and get your neighbors or your church or your school or your company to go at least towards that route, towards that goal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right.